I am Robert Evans, and I've been practicing law for 22 years. And I can remember the days when I was naive in grammar school thinking that life was supposed to be fair. And I learned quickly that life isn't fair. In fact, I was telling my mom, well, this isn't fair. And she's like, get used to it. Life isn't fair. And then in the context of relationships at schools and friends, I was very argumentative in their favor, saying, but you're not being fair. And I always fought and argued with teachers for fairness. And I knew then, and it was in seventh, sixth, seventh grade, that I wanted to be a lawyer uh, because things don't always work out fairly, but if you have the position, uh, such as an attorney, you can try to make sure that justice can happen if it's available. Justice doesn't always prevail, uh, but my goal is to make sure that justice prevails, and that started from my wee years in grammar school. I had heard a quote or read a quote at some point that the courtroom is the great equalizer. So you might hear people take one side or argue a particular side, and there are two sides to every story, but justice is supposed to prevail. That's supposed to be the place where the truth comes out, people are put under oath, and 99% uh, of the time, I'm successful in getting the truth out and, and getting justice served. I have the most fun helping my clients in the courtroom and presenting their case in a fashion that brings them justice. So I, I guess it's just a natural tendency for me to want to see justice and hearing that the courtroom was the place that you could help somebody get justice. When I graduated from law school, I graduated at the top of my class. And as a result of graduating at the top of my class, I had the benefit of working at one of the top law firms in downtown New Orleans. And I was the go-to associate to handle peculiar issues, unusual issues. The partners would call me in and say, get this done, figure this out, help me here, help me there. And it got me a lot of experience and we were mainly a defense firm, so I got to learn the perspective of defending companies very aggressively. And then, towards the end of working with uh, the firm downtown, I began to handle a few more plaintiff cases, and I saw a different perspective so after four and a half years and being exposed to both sides, I made a decision to join a firm on my own. And in 1999, I formed the Evans Law Corporation and I do both plaintiff and defense work. When I look at the cases that I handle and I have handled thousands and thousands of cases over the 22 years I've worked. And what makes me proud when I'm doing it is I feel like I'm fighting for justice. And I think I convey that to the judges and my clients feel like, man, he's really putting his heart and soul into it. In it all is my heart, my desire for justice, and to see a fair result when we know life isn't always fair. I was very honored this year to have received the Humanitarian Award from Who's Who. I think that is an acknowledgement of 
the fact that I have fought hard for my clients over a long period of time. When, when you live in a world where you know that things aren't always fair and you tried to make them fair and I can't win every time. Nobody can win every time. I have four boys and a girl and I tell them when they ask me, I say, I'm a lawyer. You know, what do you do as a lawyer? I help people. How do you help people? Well, most of the time in people's lives, something comes up in their lives. My wife is uh, a country girl and quite conservative and she helps me to think on ideas. So I will talk to her about cases and I let the kids be involved. You know, we eat together at dinner at night and we'll talk about a case. I'll say, hey guys, I want to talk to y'all about a case. Oh yeah, daddy wants to talk about a case. So I'll talk to them about a case and we'll have fun and it will stop each person and say, what do you think? You, you know, they all overlap. But you stop. You know, it's not his turn, it's your turn. You get around the table and we let mom finish up with her view. So I'm a father who spends a lot of time with his children. And I have, since they were born, uh, they're the most important parts of my life. And I, I like to include them in what I do so that they can see that daddy's helping people and they can see also that um, in a little more complicated fashion, oh, I understand what he's doing and helping people because we were talking about that over dinner. So, uh, my family is part of my practice. So what I would like to be remembered as the man who fought hard from his heart to make the world fair as much as he could with his set of circumstances.